Is there an easy way to earn money? And how can I build passive income? Stock indices or real property assets. What can you advise that I should start be doing already so that I can be financially ready in my older years? We'll help you understand all you need to know about your finances. And even if your income is very small, uh, if you have the right formula, you should be able to save. Your bigger responsibility after saving some of your money is how to grow that money. Pay yourself first. If you want to earn more, you've got to learn more. So you have to invest in yourself, get the education, be with the right people. Very important. Learn how you can retire wealthy. I'm Risa Singh San Kao Peng. Join me every week here at Your Money Matters. Hello everybody! Welcome to Your Money Matters. I'm your host, Risa Singson Kao Peng from Manila, Philippines. <laughs> diba? Parang beauty queen lang ang peg. Sa programa natin, we try to bring you new learnings about how to handle, save, and grow your money para pagdating ng retirement, aba, parelax, relax na lang tayo. So please do subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you'll get alerted whenever a new episode is aired. In this episode, pag-uusapan natin ang walong bagay na kailangan nating alam tungkol sa ating pera so that we will be financially free. We'll be learning from two financial mentors who have helped hundreds of people to set up a strong financial foundation. Si Dave Sagarit ay nag-guest na sa atin dati. Kung maalala nyo, si Dave, siya yung Father Dave dati, pari siya dati, pero ngayon, siya'y tumutulong na sa iba na maging mabuting tagapangalaga ng mga blessings na bigay ng Diyos sa kanila. Our second panelist is Rose Sardido, isang millennial na batang nag-asawa at the age of 21 lamang. So she was unprepared emotionally and financially. Pero naman ngayon, siya na nagtuturo sa iba kung paano nila i-handle ang pera nila. Together, they'll give us 8 things we need to know about money para tama ang ating kaalaman sa paghandle ng ating pera. So, ihanda nyo na ang inyong mga sarili para ready na tayong lahat matuto. Alagay mo. Gaano kadaming Pilipino ang hindi nag invest ng pera nila? A. Lahat ay hindi nag invest B. 75% ng Pilipino ay hindi nag invest C. 50% D. Wala And the answer is 75% or 54 million Filipinos ang hindi nag invest ng pera nila. Ayon sa Banko Central Governor na si Benjamin Diokno, bukod sa pagdeposito, pag-utang at paggamit ng payment facility sa banko, dapat daw kasama ang affordable retail investment products sa portfolio ng Pilipino. Okay, nagbabalik po tayo sa ating programang Your Money Matters and as promised, Kasama na po natin ang ating mga guests, si David Zagarit at si Rose Sardido. <laughs> okay, Dave, Dave, you've been um, here in our show before. Welcome back. Yes, sir. Kamusta, Dave? Mabuti po. It's nice to see you again, Ms. Risa. Yes, I'm excited to learn from you. Again. Uh -huh. <laughs> and si Rose naman. Rose, uh, you come, you're, where are you now? Hello po, I'm from, uh, I'm based in Tagbilaran City, Bohol po, as of now. Okay, wonderful. So, taga Bohol at nasa Bohol, si Rose. Rose, can you tell us a little about yourself? I know I introduced you at the beginning of the show. Pero maybe, um, pwede mo kaming uh, uh, kwentohan to po sa yung financial journey. Hello po sa lahat po ng ating mga viewers. So, my name is Rose po. So, I've been... Uh, 
a financial educator for uh, for a while now and I, I started like anybody else no na had uh, a lot of financial struggles in the past so in fact uh, I got married early no at age 21 no so nagkaroon po ako ng uh, anak at at the same time we started a family of course unprepared and uh, financially and emotionally but uh, of course no lahat naman tayo no merong second chances and all so we were able to uh, get out of our miserable situation and now we recover po kami and uh, now we are helping also a lot of Filipinos so paying forward the importance of financial literacy. Rose, kwentuhan mo nga pa- paano yung mga uh, financial struggles that you went through. Alam ko mahirap magumpisa especially pag batang-batang nag-asawa 21. Wow, you were fresh out of college. So ano yung mga uh, money problems na dinaanan yung mag-asawa? Now we got married po uh, using some funds that are not ours. So basically, napakasal po kami na may utang na. So we started uh, in, in we started our uh, married life ano na may, meron ng utang and we were uh, living together with our parents no? so we cannot uh, afford to live independently and at the same time we were both working so basically our son was being left po sa aming parents at sila po yung nag-aalaga so of course we don't want to be in that life na uh, we cannot we cannot afford no to to live independently but uh, then again um, you know we worked hard and we prayed to god na sana meron kaming opportunity then na ma-change yung buhay namin at maging independent na din uh, so that we can pay our own bills and we can uh, have our own source of income that's uh, enough for us to provide for our family. Oo nga, ang hirap naman nun, no? Kasi uh, pag, uh, usually, pag nag-asawa, uh, nag-uumpisa, no? Dahil ano, inuutang yung pangkasal, so pag-uumpisa pa lang, <laughs> nabog na sa utang. Uh, Dave, ganun ba nangyari sa'yo? Ano, ano bang kwento? I was not good in financial management before. Uh, yun nga, uh, when I left the ministry, wala kong savings eh, talaga. And I was used to a life of inside the ministry na kung saan, uh, mga provided, etc. So, when I left the ministry, I was not good in financial management. So, and then I, uh, it was the time that I was looking for a job. So, yun, naghanap ko ng trabaho noon and uh, nag- nagkikipilan ako sa mga sa mga companies niya sa Makati. Inakit ko mga buildings niya to find a job. And then, the first time is that I landed a job is being a call center agent. Yung bang nakita ko ng kahalagahan ng even a single penny set, so important, nakita ko noon. Bakit? Kasi wala kong pera eh. Nag- na-realize na ang kahalagahan ng pera. Kasi yun sa limbawa, when I became a call center agent, pagpupuyatan mo na yung pera. As compared with my former uh, job before as a priest, mahirap kasi pupuyatan mo yan eh. Tapos, uh, dun sa minimal income mo, diyan mo na wakunin yung pan-laundry mo, pambayad mo sa renta, etc. You are on your own. And then, it was the moment that I was able to see that really, this kind of life is not easy. And to think na I entered into a new life being a married person. So yun, mayroon na kami ng baby. Siyempre, talagang limited income. Talagang pag, yung talagang pag, i, i, uh, ibig sabihin niya na maghahanap ko talaga ng paraan. Anong ginagawa ko noon? Even I was at, uh, after a course, being a call center agent, I shifted my own career from a call center to become a teacher. O yun. Yung teacher ako, yun, medyo, okay, okay. May, merong income, pero limited pa rin. In my spare time noon, ang ginagawa ko noon, nag-ahanap buhay pa rin ako. Mga alimbawa, nagitin ako ng mga tuyo, RTWs, tinapa, etc. Just to have another source of income. Pero na-realize ko lahat active income. Just imagine, I woke up in the morning, pupunta ko ng kupaw, ihintayin ko yung delivery from Vicol Richo ng mga tuyo, i-deliver ko sa iba't ibang part ng Manila. Kung na-realize na dapat talaga, huwag lang ko mag-realize sa single source of income. Pero na-realize ko, pag lahat naman active income, challenging. Just imagine, gagising ka ng maaga, mag-distribute ka ng mga dried fish. After which, pupunta ako from Cuba, pupunta ako na Las Piñas, at doon mo ko mag-teach mag- na naman ako. So, it was so, namamahirap. Pero naisip ko noon, 
Naisip ko na una, kailangan ko kasi may anak na ako. In this my life na, my life now that I, I chose na dapat I should live a life of respo- a, res- a, a man of responsibility and I should be a responsible person. Thank you po. Okay. Um, ayon, you know, uh, pinag-uusapan natin money problems and hindi pa hindi pa included dyan yung uh, savings and investment. Tanong, kasi syempre, pag nakautang ka, yes, kagaya po. si Rose, at kung wala kang kita, uh, gaya nung uh, uh, si sinishare mo, Dave, parang ang hirap, hindi ka pa umaabot dun sa point na makaka-invest ka and save. Uh, ayon yes, sa po. Banko Sentral, ha, ito yung nabasa ko, ayon sa Banko Sentral, 75% or tatlo sa bawat apat na Pilipino ang hindi nag-invest ng pera nila. Kaya pala ang daming mahirap na Pilipino kasi uh, 'di ba, imagine mo kung hindi ka pa nga marunong mag-save tapos di, lalo na kung hindi, hindi ka pa makakaabot sa investment, eh talagang you will really struggle whether you're single or you're married. Kaya ngayon, gusto kong pag-usapan yung walong bagay na dapat alam ng 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 bawat ano Pilipino, hindi lang Pilipino, anybody, uh, eight things that people should know with regards to their um finances. Yeah. So I I I'll ask you Dave, um yung apat yung uh, apat na bagay na ano um hihinga ko kayo ng tiga apat uh, Rose yes, and Dave na dapat alam ng bawat tao when it comes to their finances or when it comes to their money. So let me start off with you Dave. Uh, ano sa yes. yung uh, uh, ba- bagay na dapat alam natin tungkol sa ating pera? Yes. Uh, ganito po yan. When it comes to increase of the cash flow, I remember there are two sides of the coin. Okay, ganito po yan na. The first side is the income. The second side is the expenses. Ganito po yan. Karamihan mga tao, pag nag-increase ng income, anong ginagawa? Sumusunod ang expenses. Yes po. <laughs> yes pa. Pag, nag, pag, nag, pag, nag, pag, nag, pag nagpantay siya, may savings wala. 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 O, di ba? Ang mahirap niyan, sumusubra yung expenses. Ano nangyayari? Living beyond the means. Ano nangyayari? Utang. The principle po dito, pag um, nag-increase ang ating income, ano dapat natin gawin? It's either retain or reduce the expenses, mayroon kanya na siya safe, at pag-usapan natin mamaya kung saan ilalagay ang savings mo. Kami dalawang paraan po what we do with the first step. What is that? How to increase your income. Dalawang bagay lang po yan. Number one is earn additional income. The first side of the coin. Ikalawa, lesson expenses. Tandaan po yan. Let's go first to the increase of the income. Paano ka makakapag-increase ng income? Ganito po yan. Simple tip or advice lang po. Uh, manage your time. Manage your time. Like, just like me. When my own story before. Uh, I manage my time. I woke up in the morning. Tapos, pupunta ko kahit masama sa loob ko, masarap patulog, pupunta ko ng Cuba from Las Piñas kasi kailangan ko mag-earn additional income. So, yan po. And then, I manage my spare time talaga. So that, before 8pm, babalik na naman ako sa Las Piñas, 8am rather, kasi papasok na naman sa school. So, yan. Ayan, mag-teach na naman ako, etc. etc. During the break, Ano na gawin ko? Inventory. Sino ba na-deliveran ko? Et cetera, et cetera. Pero sabi ko na nga, mahirap kasi ano eh, active income eh. So yan, manage your time. Because, sabi nga niya, the principle is, if you, during, say for example, if you are in a, in a job, 8 to 5, you make your boss rich, but 5 yan, sarili mo naman payamanin mo. Paano mo mapayaman sarili mo? Through time, management. And then, number two is lesson expenses. O maganda po ito. Pakinggan po natin. Maganda ito, lesson expenses. Kasi may mga bagay-bagay na hindi mo na-realize na mga simpleng bagay, pwede ka pa na mag-lesson expenses. For example, like this. Tandaan po natin, hindi mo na-realize na barya-barya, pwede malaking pera. Ganda na, I repeat. You can make a fortune from all from small chains. Diba? Say for example, like this, bottled water. May mga taong bawat pasok sa opisina, laging bottled water. Ano kaya kung merong bumili ka na lang ng medyo 1 liter na container, i-refill mo sa bahay mo bago ka pumasok, ilagay mo sa bag mo, pag pumasok ka sa opisina mo, pagpunta mo sa, pan- sa-, sa pantry or sa-, sa canteen, cafeteria, i-refill mo doon. 
O di ba? Nakatipid ka ng pera. Say for example, uh, 20 pesos na tipid mo. 20 pesos times 30. Magkano na ipon mo? 600 pesos in a month. Mga chicharya, mga sweets. O di ba? Alim- alimbawa, nagagagasos ka ng 40 pesos in a day. Ano pong bawasan mo? Burn mo na lang na 20 pesos. Para yung 20 pesos na nasave mo, tapos, i-times 30 mo siya, magkano yung lahat? 600. O magkano na ipon mo? 600 pa 600, magkano? Meron ka na ipon na 1,200. O diba? Say for example, eating outside. O, eating outside. Limbawa, nakakagasos ka ng family mo ng 1,000 per week. Pwede naman na, pwede kang kumain sa labas, labas ng bahay mo. Doon sa kubo nyo, <laughs> kung malagay kayo payong, doon kayo kumain, o di ba? Iyaw-iyaw kayo, nakatikid pa kayo, di ba? At banding pa ng family. Sa kayo, iwasan natin yung panahon ng pandemia. O di ba? Say for example, like this. So, 1,000 na gasos mo, nakagasos ka lang 200. Tapos, magkano tipid mo? 800. O, 1,200 plus 800, magkano na ipon mo? 2,000. At ang 2,000, say for example, ilagay mo siya sa isang investment, which is pag-uusapan natin mamaya, in the long term, kayaman ka. Kayaman okay. ka. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me interrupt you there, uh, yes, Dave. Ha? Kasi uh, napaka-importante nung uh, sinasabi mo. Kasi ang, ang mga tao, ang tingin nila sa okay. maliit na pera, 50 peso, ay 50 peso, ay 20 pesos lang yan, barya lang yan. Pero ang hindi na natin pala nare-realize, yung mga maliliit na yung mga gastos natin, when you add it yes, up, ma'am. eh malaking bagay yan. Diba? So, um, uh, I'm going to, when we come back, I'm going to ask Rose naman kung paano siyang nag-cope silang uh, bagong mag-asawa nung araw, nung bago silang kasal. At uh, I'm sure, ang dami na rin nilang mga gastos. Uh, sa pagbabalik lamang, mag-break lamang tayo for commercial, tapos magbabalik ang ating programang Your Money Matters. Okay, mawawala! Ang makalaya sa utang. Sa usaping pinansyal, magkaroon ng sapat na kaalaman. Matutong mag-ipon. Ang pinagpaguran. Hindi masasayang. Hindi Mababaliwala. Mahalagahan ang kinikita. Para sa sarili. Para sa pamilya. Para sa pangamahal natin sa buhay. Ako. Kami. Tayo. Bahagi ako. Join ako. Kaya nating abutin ang 30 million Filipinos financially educated by the year 2030. Hashtag 30M2030. Corina Sanchez Rojas, kasama ninyo sa isang makabuluhang misyon. Someday, you will get older. Slower. Grayer. But also, wiser. Calmer. And freer than ever. At Kaiser, we help you prepare for those years ahead. So you can keep doing what you love with the people that matter the most. <laughs> prepare for your future today. International Health Group, the first name in healthcare. Nagbabalik po tayo sa Your Money Matters and ang pinag-uusapan po natin, eight things that you need to know about your money. Um, Dave was talking about the first two things. Ang sabi niya, you have to increase your income. Pangalawa, you have to cut down your expenses. Rose, mapunta ako sa iyo kasi ang kwento mo kanina, eh, uh, kina- bago kang kasal kayo, yung pinangkasal nyo pa eh, inutang nyo pa. ba diba? So talagang, so uh, what were the things that you, that, that were so instrumental in, um, you know, getting yourself out of your um, money problems 
nung uh, early days of your marriage. So, ano yung um, mga bagay na kailangan natin malaman po sa ating pera, Rose? Yes po. Kasi sometimes yung ating mga mindset, yung problema, so uh, yung ating or environment or community or yung mga friends natin or yung ating upbringing, you know, we don't have any idea on how to cope. No, So for me, how we were able to get out of that miserable financial situation, number one, uh, we increased our financial IQ. So we started uh, choosing growth over entertainment, not changing our mindset kasi yung mindset nga ng Pinoy so isisisi natin sa government yung ating kahirapan or sa ating employer or or, or or to anybody else na hindi natin alam na we are becoming part of the problem. So what we need to do is to educate ourselves no, financially so that we will become part of the solution because we don't know what we don't know. So basically we started number one increasing our financial IQ because from those trainings, we change our mindset. We're able to learn new things that we haven't learned in the past, no. And we also learn strategies, no, into where to uh, put our money, how to manage our finances, how to build a solid financial foundation. So basically, education is very important. Because based on statistics, no, so marami din namang mga tao na sinne sinwerte na with regards to na, nanalo sa loto or or may perang dumating sa, uh, sa sa buhay nila but then again naubos din kasi hindi nila alam kung pa, pa, paano siya i-manage so that is why ev- everything should start in uh, education yung kaalaman kaalamang financial kung pa, paano baguhin yung ating financial situation basically to have a financial revolution in our life so that is why number 2 is related to that uh, related to financial education, we also need to be involved with a community and find a mentor. No, kasi dapat meron tayong good influence. Kasi very important yung uh, sinasabi nila, no, that we are the average of the five people we're with most of the time. So basically, uh, if uh, yung mga kaibigan natin, puro uh, mabisyo, puro, puro sugarol or palautang, whatever. So, we will become like them. However, if yung mga friends natin sa ating community nagsisave, nag-i-invest, nagka-tights, no? Uh, they have uh, peaceful lives in their in all aspects of their life, no? In sa family nila, sa spiritually, no? Emotionally, they are all matured and different a level of people, no? Basically, you will also become like them. And uh, related to that, finding a mentor is very important, no? Kasi, wala pong successful na tao na walang coach. No? Even si Manny Pacquiao, no? nandun si Freddy Roach, coaching him no? to become uh, the best boxer in the world. Tayo din, no? to be better in our finances, we need to have a coach. Kasi yung coach natin, yung magpupush sa atin, para, you know, we need to transform from uh, what we were to what we need to become in the future. And hindi natin kayang gawin yan ng mag-isa. No? So we really need to be accountable to someone. Kasi if hindi tayo accountable to someone, easy lang na mag-slip yung discipline no? within what we do. So that's why very important na meron tayong coach na nagre-report tayo sa coach natin na yes coach, gagawin ko yan. And yung coach natin, may mga bagay na pinapagawa sa atin na uh, and of course, no, as stu- a student then of the uh, community, we also need to be coachable kasi you know we need to follow because you know by following those uh, good inputs from our, from our coaches no sure na sure na magsasucceed tayo kasi wala naman pong coach na gusto na mapahamak tayo na lahat ng coach natin gusto manalo tayo no manalo tayo sa buhay in general so that's why uh, we started to to change our lives and have financial revolution in our financial life thank you po Rose, gusto ko yung sinabi mong growth over entertainment kasi tayo, lalo na tayo mga Pilipino, di ba Dave, we like yes. to be entertained. Di ba? Yes, Palagi gusto natin kung ano yung, in fact, kaya nananalo yung mga, di ba, sa, kahit na sa pol- politics, ang mga nananalo, hindi yung mga uh, matatalino at mga, oh, uh, you know, re- uh, yes. equipped, di ba? O may tamang mga kaalaman sa pag uh, uh, go-govern ng bansa. Ang nananalo yung mga marunong kumanta, yung mga pinatawa yung mga tao, di ba? Kasi Filipinos like to be entertained. So, napakaganda nung sinabi ni, ni Rose na growth over entertainment. So, kailangan pala talagang mag-aral tayo. Uh, especially with, with regard to money. Kasi 
alam natin gumasos pero hindi natin alam kung paano ita you know how to keep um, our money and and Dave you were saying kanina so you you mentioned um, that we need to cut down our expenses you need to um, increase your income and then yung yung sabi mo sa sa natin dapat ilagay yung ilagay. savings natin yes po yam po ah uh, kasi ganito ang mentality ng iba di ba ah uh, mentality na the less in expenses earn additional income Pag mayroon kang poor mentality, ang inisip mo yung present needs. Pero yung mga karamihan, particularly sa mga middle class, ang inisip nila, uh, this, they eat, they earn, they save in order to spend in the long term. Say for example, uh, parang ganito yun, no? earn, save, earn, save, and to spend. Walang katapos lang spend yan. Kaya ginagawa nila... Uh, bumibili ng halimbawa ng gadget, etc. Kasi li, pwede, may, mayroon pa rin sinasabi tayo yung may pagka-more poor mentality, kumbaga. Kaya po, kung nag-earn additional income ka, iisipin mo saan ko to ilalagay. So that, kung mayroon kang rich mentality, iisipin mo, if you're able to earn, you're able to save, to, to save and then the next step is to grow. You put that into, say for example, investment. O, balikan po natin yung halimbawa ko kanina. Halimbawa, o nag-earn additional income ka. O, from 8 to 5, you work to your boss, 5 yan, nag-earn additional income ka, o meron ka doon na save. Tapos, nag expenses ka. Say, for example, nag expenses ka, alam mo ba, na yung na-save mo na 600 pesos a day, ilagay mo yun sa investment na 10% na lang in 35 years, it can become 2 million. Yan yung sinasabi natin, compounding interest. Pero sa ngayon, ang 600, napakaliit. Napakaliit. Pero, pag marunong ka sa investment, pag marunong ka sa investment, at nailagay mo ito sa investment ng 600 na to regularly, regularly, in the long term, you can become a millionaire. Pero bakit ganun? Na hindi mo nagagawa ito. Number one, Sabi nga ni Ms. Rose kanina, environment mo magastos, di mo ito magagawa. Kung environment mo, mga chismosa, maging chismosa ka rin. Kaya ang kuwi natin dito, napakaganda na dapat meron kang environment. So for example, dun sa sinasabi natin dine out, alam mo ba na ang 800 pesos times 4, it can become 3,200. 3,200, pag nalagay mo ito sa investment vehicle na 10% in 35 years, it can become 10 million. O, cost cutting pa lang yun, di ba? Cost cutting pa lang yun. Paano na yung mga earn additional income mo? I-combine mo to, in the long term, you can become a millionaire. Kaya ang kailangan natin ngayon is the change of our perspective. Change of our mindset. Where can you find that? Find an environment that can influence you to change your perspective. Kasi karamihan ng mga bagay, yung ginagawa natin is that we work so hard for the money. Kaya yung ginagawa ko noon, Pabalikan ko yung kwento ko. Uh, Dati-rati, talagang gigising ko na maaga pag mag-earn additional income ako. Tapos, mag expenses din ako. Pero hindi ko pa alam noon kung saan ko ilalagay. So that in the long term, darating ang panahon, hindi na ako nagtatrabaho sa pera. Darating ang panahon, yung pera ko na ang magtatrabaho sa akin. Yan ang maganda, yeah. di ba, Dave? <laughs> Diba? Yan ang maganda pag yung pera mo na nagtatrabaho <laughs> para sa'yo. Okay, Dave, fourth thing that we wanna, no um, that we need to know about money. Where to put your savings? Sabi natin, ilagay mo ito sa investment. So, for example, mutual fund, stock market. Kasi natin alam na mutual fund pala, na pag nilagay mo dito, at least 1,000, pwede ka na magsimula. Diba? Okay. So, that in the long term, it will grow exponentially. You don't realize na pwede ka parang maging shareholder ng mga big companies to which, to where which people are investing. Okay, balikan ko naman yung dati kong kwento nung last na pag-guest ko dito. Nung nakausong isang pare, sabi niya sa akin, Dave, alam mo ba ngayong panahon, ang kailangan ng tao, hindi lang yung spiritual conversion. Ang kailangan din ng tao ngayon, yung sinasabi natin yung financial conversion. So, still lang ko yung pare, Father, ang financial conversion ba is changing dollar to peso or peso to dollar? Hindi, Dave. Financial conversion is changing the perspective of every Filipino family. Changing the mindset. Baguhin mo. Kaya ang IMG, ang ganda ginagawa natin dito. We move people from being spender 
to become a saver, to become an investor, to become an entrepreneur. Maganda. Talagang tinutulungan ng tao na ma- ma-unlearn niya yung mga old habits niya. Ma-unlearn niya yung mga dating. Kasi yung isa yung pinagamahirap eh, na yan learn mo yung dating mga mga old practices mo. Paano po mamaraan yun? O balikan na natin sinabi ni Ms. Rosie kanina. You need an environment. You need a mentor. So that in a subtle way, kasi doon mo na-realize eh, in a subtle way, you're able to, to change yourself from being a spender kasi di kanya yaman dyan sa pagiging spender para magkaroon ka ng habit of saving. Sa pag-save, pwede kang yumaman pero mabagal. So dapat yung savings mo, kailangan mong ilagay sa tamang investment like mutual fund stock market para medyo bumilis. Pero, pag walang entrepreneurship, walang other source of income, na pandagdag mo sa yung investment, magiging mabagal pa rin ang pag-grow ng money mo. Lagi nating tatandaan po, huwag ka lang pong magtrabaho sa pera. Alamin mo ang strategiya kung paano ang pera ito magtrabaho sa iyo. Filipinos, as my priest friend said, does not only need, Filipinos do not only need spiritual conversion, but they also need spiritual conversion. Kaya kailangan natin ito. Isa na lang po. Greek word. Another one. Metanoia. What is metanoia? The change of heart. If you're able to change your heart, that will, that will influence your mind, that will influence your perspective. So on the long term, in the long term, it will change the view when it comes to money management and investment. And it could influence a great number of People. I hope you're able to learn from my sharing for today. Yes, okay. <laughs> Ayun, you need the financial conversion. Yun yes, po. Ang, uh, uh, maraming uh, hindi natin masyadong naririnig. You know, we always hear about spiritual conversions. Pero yes, everybody needs a financial conversion. Okay, Rose, um, to, to complete our eight things that we need to know about money, ano yung last two points mo? Dito napapasok, no? Zero out bad debt. Kasi, you know, like in our world, no, current world, para normal na sa atin yung may utang. Abnormal kapag wala tayong utang. So, kasi yun yung nakasanayan natin eh. Kahit saan tayo magpunta, no, maraming available na mga opportunities para makautang tayo, no. But I heard in one of I, of the financial classes that I attended, no, merong mentor na nagsabi, no, lahat ng utang is bad. All debts are bad. No, hindi... Walang tinatawag na good debt, walang tinatawag na bad debt, no? But all debts are bad. Bakit? Kasi may interest po 'yun. And interest, no? Are like drain are, are like uh, leaks that drain our finances. So no? kahit ano pang gawin natin, no? Mag maglagay tayo ng ng tubig sa timba kapag maraming butas, no? Hindi pa rin mag-grow yung ating wealth building. Hindi hindi tayo magsasucceed kasi merong utang na binabayaran. So that's uh, you know, we need to change our mindset, no? We need to stay away from debts kasi mahihirapan tayong umusad no, towards our financial goal dahil bayad tayo ng bayad ng utang natin. And at the same time, lack of financial literacy, tayong mga Pinoy, no, hindi tayo marunong mag-compute ng interest rate. No, hindi natin naiintindihan yung tinatawag na compounding interest. Kasi compounding interest doesn't just work for savings and investment, it also work against you through debts. Kasi, you know, the higher the interest, the faster our debts double no no parang uh, mabilis yung pag uh, increase ng amount ng utang natin kapag malalaking interest and of course we have credit cards pero tayong utang personal loans meron tayong utang sa Bombay and so on and so forth so kaya merong iba na yung utang nila hindi na talaga mabayaran kasi hanggang leeg na yung interest no nag compound no rumolyo na nagdoble na yung utang nila so uh, as you know as financial educators we really need to Uh, change the mindset of Filipinos na educate them na lumayo sa pagkakautang. Kasi yan po yung pipigil sa ating financial goal. So that's the no number four point. Time is very important. No, time is important than money. Why? Because sabi nila, time is the greatest ally in building wealth. No, I've been a financial educator for a while now and I talk to people on their 50s, on their 60s, tapos sinasabi nila, uh, Ma'am Rose, bakit ngayon ko pa natutunan yung financial literacy, no? Bakit hindi dumating yung kaalamang ito noong 
20 pa ako, nung 30 pa ako, sayang lahat ng pera ko, no? Na hindi hindi man lang na nabigyan ng chance na malagay sa tamang mga platforms, no? Sayang yung taon na lumipas, no? But, you know, I was lucky then kasi I met a, a community, no? And taught me about investing and saving at age 23. So, medyo swerte ng konti kasi dumating yung kaalamang ito at an early stage of my life and I, I was given a chance no, to to play around with my investments for me to be able to reach our financial goals. So, however, hindi pa huli ang lahat. No? Better late than never. So, that is why financial education is not just for the wealthy, it's for everyone. No? Bata man ang matanda, may nipin o wala. But again, it's advantageous for millennials like us, no? to get to know about these concepts early on in our lives kasi time lost is money lost. So, mas malaking time na ma mabigay sa pera natin, mas ma mas ma mas ma um, mas effective yung tinatawag natin na compounding interest kasi mat mataas yung time na nag-grow yung ating savings and investment. So, that is why, you know, as uh, part of the millennial community, you know, so I'm encouraging you all, no, to really change our mindset, no, and at the same time, magbalik lo, no, kasi yung mga millennials, so normally, uh, hindi tayo nagsisave, kasi yolo, no, we tend to uh, enjoy life, no, and then gumibili tayo ng milk tea, ng mga gadgets, or kahit ano-ano mga expenses na hindi naman masyadong need, no, uh, change our mindset. Yan, naku, ang dami nating natutunan kay Dave at kay Rose. As uh, magbe-break lamang po tayo, tapos pagbalik po natin, uh, we will ask the experts sa pagbabalik po ng Your Money Matters. Love <laughs> comes in many forms. <laughs> but in times of trial and uncertainty, Nothing spells love better than security. Peace of mind. And hope for the future. For over 50 years, we have helped people express this four letter word. So you can face life head on and savor every moment it brings. Manila Banker's Life. The best way to show your love. Kaiser Medical Center provides a wide array of diagnostic and medical care services, ranging from immediate quality medical care to consultation to individuals and companies all over the Philippines. And because we value your health, our ultimate goal is to be your partner in health and wellness, even long after your visit with us. Kaiser Medical Center is a diagnostic clinic equipped with highly committed and experienced professionals willing to provide you with excellent healthcare service, focused on health and wellness at all times. Our aim is to have a consistent, lifelong relationship with our patients by providing convenient and affordable quality medical care and consultation which is preventive and curative in a happy, safe, and friendly environment. Kaiser Medical Center, kaagapay mo sa kalusugan. Protect yourself and your family and be certain with your future with Fidelity Life. It has been a long-time dedicated partner of IMG that provides life insurance benefit exclusively to its members to meet their risk protection needs. In partnership with Everest Memorial Services, Fidelity Life is also providing its members with free access to 24-7 Memorial Concierge Services. With the consent of the beneficiary, Fidelity Life shall apply the insurance benefit to cover the expenses for the memorial services of the deceased member. At Fidelity Life, the care of our members and their families is our first and most important business. Be life confident by protecting your loved ones and securing your future.
Hi, I'm Alec and I'm 25 years old and I want to know when should I get my first car and my first house? If I'm getting a car, should it be brand new or second hand? And if I'm getting a realty investment, should I take out a loan or should it be rent to own? And should it be a condo or a house? Okay, yan si Alec, isang medtech and uh, napakabata, 25 years old. So, um, what can you tell her? Kasi ang tanong niya is, when is the best time daw to get her um, first car and first house? Dave? Yes po, sa so magandang tanong po yan. Talagang makaka-relate din siya sa ating pinag-uusapan ngayon tungkol sa savings and investment, where to put your money, etc. Kasi... Itong sinasabi niya, part din to ng bani, ng investment din natin because we are saving for our goals in the long term. So, say for example, you save your invest because for your dream car, for your dream house, etc. So, ang point hindi, when is the best time to do it? Where, when, when is the best time to have these, these, uh, these assets, kumbaga? Ang, ang, ang sagot ko dito is that uh, better na if you're able to achieve na a certain amount, a certain investment that can really uh, maabot mo na yung para doon halimbawa sa, sa bahay mo at halimbawa sa car mo panabot yung certain investment na hindi na na nadideprive yung mga active income mo o na nadideprive yung uh, kumbaga main source of income mo better to have that kind of uh, the, of those assets you always remember that these assets are dead investment not unless na you can be call it an asset pag halimbawa bumili ka ng car na gagamit mo sa negosyo mo yeah pwede ka nang bumili nito Alimbawa, bahay mo, kung talagang kailangan mo na ng bahay mo para sa family mo to lessen the, the rent, pwedeng meron ka ng ganito. Pero as I have said, when it comes to buying this, these properties, dapat po, galing na po ito sa iyong mga investments in the long term na na-achieve mo. Kaya po, when you invest, dapat isipin natin what are our investment goals. So yan po, don't just invest for the sake of investing. You invest because you have those investment goals. Bakit ka nag-save? Bakit ka nag in expenses for your investment? And what are those investments? Say for example, isa na dyan sa mga bucket list natin, di ba? Say for example, uh, pag-aaral ng anak, travels natin, at huwag natin yung kaligtaan itong dream house at dream car natin. Itong dalawang ito po, parte ito, pag na-achieve na natin, base, doon sa program natin ng ating investment. Kasi pag kumoko po nito, na hindi mo kinonsider yung target goal mo sa yung investing at kinokoko doon sa, sa yung active income, pwede ma-deplete ang yung income at pwede rin makuha mo po yung kuhan, makuha mo yung ibang mga investments mo because you are not able to plan for this one. Di ba? Kasi kaya as I've said, kaya this is now the end the end part of what I told you a while ago. Diba sabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, earning additional income, less in expenses, where to put your investment in increase financial IQ. Sa so, increase financial IQ, dyan na lang papasok kung anong gagawin mo sa first three na ito at kasama dyan ang kasagutan doon sa sinasabi kanina ng ating friend. Pwede kumuha nito, but this is based upon on your plan, ito ba ay naging basihan mo doon sa investment goals mo na kasama dyan ang dream house at dream car. Okay po, thank you so Importante. much. I hope I am able yes. to answer the question. Importante na ano, clear yung goals mo no? when you invest your money. How about you, Rose? Anong, anong ma uh, advice mo kay Alec? Yeah, first of all, congratulations, Alec. No? Kasi uh, bihira sa mga millennials na nag step ng ganun. No? Kasi we tend to have fun muna but then again you are a different breed of a millennial kasi you're thinking about those things so my answer to your question uh kung kailan ba dapat kumuha ng car at saka house no the answer is when you're ready tanong another tanong paano natin malalaman if ready na tayo so number one is if we're able to build our solid financial foundation so in our trainings we have what we call uh, priorities of fund allocation and uh, it starts from the ground up so dapat number one we, we first pay ourselves by having health care second we are protecting our income through life insurance number three no na eliminate na yung mga utang natin number four we have we're able to establish enough emergency fund tapos fifth na yung investment so in other words 
kumpletuhin muna yung apat no before yung fifth kasi you know there are two kinds of invest investments then meron tayong tinatawag na liquid versus solid no solid na investment and we're not uh, we are not recommending for people to get solid investment if kulang yung ating liquid investment kasi anong mayayari no so if uh, kumuha tayo ng house tapos wala tayong emergency fund or wala tayong healthcare like insurance may mga utang tayo hindi mapo-protect yung na-build natin na house house at saka car kasi mabebenta natin kapag may emergency kapag may nagkasakit or ipababayad natin sa utang natin so yan so to get uh, when to get your car and your house when you're already uh, able to build the four uh, steps of the solid financial foundation second no as much as possible hindi natin uutangin yung down payment ng mortgage kasi you know if meaning if inutang natin yung down payment ng mortgage no meaning hindi pa tayo prepared so if hindi natin yung inutang yan meaning we're able to prepare a little bit and we are more ready no compared doon sa utang pati yung down and then another no is we consider into purchasing our car and our house and our house with regards to our lifestyle no so nagagamit ba natin to no is it close to our workplace no eto ba yung dream life that we we want in our life no gusto ba natin city living gusto ba natin yung uh, medyo fresh air no at the same time yung car natin nagagamit ba natin uh, as an asset as what for, uh, sir dave said no uh, nag-i-income ba siya or naka, naka-park lang doon, no? Mas malaki pa yung ating expenses compared sa bumabalik na pera. So, yun, we need to consider assets versus liability. And at the same time, no, if our house is and car is costing us more, no, than it, you know, our income, then we're not ready yet. So, uh, doon na lang kapag ready na tayo. So, save muna, no, build a strong, solid financial foundation until we are ready, no, para kasi, kasi kapag ready tayo, uh, less yung sakit ng ulo with regards to the purchase that you need. Thank you. Okay. Nako, na talagang expert advice ang uh, natanggap ni Alec ngayong uh, araw na ito. Thank you so much, Dave and Rose. Maraming salamat. Thank, thank you. For the time the week. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> thank you for gracing our show and for sharing your wisdom here with us. Sana marami pa kayong matulungan para tuloy-tuloy ang pag-unlad ng mga Pilipino saan man sila sa buong mundo. Okay. So ang katanungan ninyo ay maaaring katanungan ng karamihan kaya't padalhan nyo lang kami ng inyong mga video questions sa yourmoneymatters.ph at gmail.com And we have an important announcement. Gusto mo bang manalo ng iPhone 12 Pro Max? Learn, click, and win! Here's how. Subscribe to the IMG YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. Share one episode of Your Money Matters on your Facebook page and tag three friends using the hashtags Hashtag IMG Your Money Matters Hashtag IMG Great iPhone 12 Pro Max Giveaway Hashtag IMG Official Channel Visit www.img-corp.com slash iPhone 12 Pmax and fill up the survey and registration form. Our lucky winner will be announced through a live raffle draw on episode 26 of Your Money Matters. Enjoy the learnings brought to you by Your Money Matters and IMG and win exciting prizes. And that brings to a close our episode today. I hope you learned a lot from our panelists at sana agad-agad din yung ma-apply sa buhay ninyo ang mga natutunan ninyo. One last word from Luke 16 verse 11. Isang katanungan mula kay Kristo mismo. Sabi niya, Kung hindi kayo mapagkakatiwalaan sa kayamanan ng mundong ito, Sino ang magtitiwala sa inyo ng tunay na kayamanan? God blessed us all with worldly wealth. Iba mas marami, iba mas konti. Hindi importante kung gano'ng kadami o kakonti ang meron tayo, kundi kung paano natin ito pinapangalagaan. So be wise and grow your money. Till our next episode, I'm Risa Singson Kaufeng. See you again next week because your money matters. Bye!
would like to thank our sponsors. Learn the secret to saving and building your future. Become your own financial educator through IMG, International Marketing Group, your total financial solution. May Kaiser para sa iyo, kahit maputi na ang buhok mo. Kaiser International Health Group, the first name in healthcare. Seguridad ng buhay at proteksyon para sa mga minamahal. Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation, the best way to show your love. Nangungunang kaagapay mo sa kalusugan. Kaiser Medical Center, your partner in health and wellness.